this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be Goldfish Bubbles new tank setup. So let's get started. So in this video I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about how to set up a new Goldfish tank. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see the title of this video, this video is going to be all about setting up a new Goldfish tank. So here is all the items that I have to set up a goldfish tank and as you guys can see Max wants to be in the video too so don't mind him being in the video he's just very nosy. So here is everything that is going to go into the tank. We have the tank, we have the sand, we have a decoration, we have a light hood lid and also a filter. So we're going to go ahead and show you the very first thing that you should do to set up a goldfish tank. Alright guys, so the very first thing that you're going to do is get a uh, aquarium tank and this is going to be a 20 gallon high black aquarium tank. It's just a tank from Petco. They were doing their $1 per gallon sale. So at that time I had been able to pick up a tank from them. You can usually get their 10, 20 and 40 gallon tanks for their one gallon per gallon sale and that's usually around April of every year this time they actually did it for about two weeks usually they do it for like the whole month so this is what the tank looks like so the very first thing you're going to do is just take off the cardboard and then take off the stickers and then we're going to go ahead and wipe it out with a wet paper towel and then dry it off so let's go ahead and get into that Alright guys, so I went on ahead and took off the box and also the sticker. So now we just have a plain glass aquarium. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I wet a nice uh, paper towel and I'm just going to go ahead and go inside of the tank and completely wipe it down completely. So make sure there is no like dust or dirt or anything that was in the tank so it will be nice and clean. So there's a couple of stuff in here. So we'll get that nice and wiped down. Pretty simple. All right. All right, so we've got all of that wiped down on each side and on the corners and on also on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just take a dry paper towel and wipe it all down. And then I will be right back. Alright guys, so I wiped down the complete tank and it is nice and dry and clean. The only thing that is wet is just the bottom, but that's okay because I'm about to put the sand in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I got all of the sides nice and wiped down and clean. And here's what the tank looks like on the stand. And we just got Mo on the bottom. So here's his tank gown and then here's... A 20 gallon tank so bubble is actually in a 10 gallon like this and he's getting upgraded to a 20 gallon so you can see the difference so I'm very excited for him to have a bigger home so that is what that looks like so the next thing we're gonna do is rinse out this sand and this is the top fin sand that I have aquarium sand it's like a brown color. It's about a 30 pound bag. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And I'm going to put it in a bucket and then it just says to rinse it until the water comes out clear. So I'm just going to do that. So this is my very first time ever using sand at all. So this is all new to me. So hopefully this will come out the way it should. But we'll see how well it does. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bag and get the sand started and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hi guys, so I'm just running the water over the sand. I didn't put a lot in there. I'm just doing some at a time to get it more, make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm just running the water and making sure that it's doing pretty good. So we'll see how long this takes to get nice and clean and clear. Alright guys, so I got some of the sand in here, so this is what it looks like. Um, 
So, yep, this is what it looks like. I got some of it done. And I'm doing the second round now. Here's what the sand looks like inside. And then here is it in the water. So this is round two that I'm doing. So we'll see how much more um, I have to finish. Alright guys, so here is round two so far. So it's kind of getting there. So this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm on round three. Here's what's in the bag. And then here's round three with not the sand. So we'll see what looks like after this one. If I feel like I need another bucket, I'll probably do like one more after that. But I'll see you after I finish this one. So I'll let you guys know how it's going in a few minutes. Alright guys, so this is the sand completely finished. Um, this is actually the whole bag, so it looks pretty much this much of sand in here. So this is what it looks like. Kind of when I took the sand out, it splashed all over the side. So, But this is what it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is take off the filter. And this is the filter I'm using. Aquatech, um, Ultra Quiet, and um, this is my first time ever using this, so we'll see how well it is. And it says for 10 to 20 gallons, and I got a 20 gallon, so should be good. So let's see what this looks like. out the way so you guys can see it all right so here is what the filter looks like pretty cool oh, and then here's the other piece that you put in there too so this is going to be interesting and fun and so I think this is going to do very well for his tank and I can't wait to get it set up um, you guys are probably wondering where bubbles is and right now I have him in this little um, plastic container right now um, he's just hanging out and relaxing um, he's probably tired because usually this is around the time that he usually like relaxes and goes to sleep after I turn his light off so right now he's just like Showing in here, this is nice, clean, fresh water after he already went to the bathroom in here already. But um, I'm definitely not going to be putting him in this tank. I'm going to have to let it um, filter and clear and everything because especially the sand is going to make the water very milky looking. So um, I do have a backup tank. I'm not going to use his old tank. Um, I do have a backup tank. Um, here is um, my little small um, three gallon tank um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just set that up and put him in there for about probably a couple of days to a week just to get his tank nice and set up and clean and make sure everything is good before I even put him in there so he'll be going into a nice little three gallon I know it's not ideal for him but um, It'll be okay. Um, it'll only be for like a week, so it's not going to bother him. So there he is, just hanging out on the bottom. This is usually what he does when he, he's ready to go to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up, put this thing together, and put it on the back of the tank. And then when I'm finished, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. So I was looking at the directions, and um, if you guys are curious, they have three different type of filters, so they actually give you the option to show you what they have. So they have the single one, then they have this one, and then they have like a double one. And this one is for a 5 to 15, this one is for like the 10 to 20 to 20 to 40, and then this one is 30 to 60. And I think these are at Walmart too. So, and then here's what it looks like 
on the bottom. So you get single, probably like a bigger double, and then like a bigger double double. But those what those look like. So the one that I have is the one like this. So this one was pretty simple. You just put the bottom piece in here, then take this into the little section, and there's like a little hole right there that it hangs out. And then this is already in there. I just had to put this in there. I wrenched everything out, and it's pretty much set to go. So I'll show you what that looks like. Turn on the light so you guys can see. Okay, so it's kind of hard. My shadow is in the way. But here's what the filter looks like. So it's pretty simple. It's kind of hard to see, but there we go. So that's what it looks like. So it's a pretty good size filter, I think. And then the top of this is pretty simple. Um, all you do is just lay it on top of there and you're good to go. So that's I like that, it's nice. So we'll see how well this um, filters the tank. I'm probably going to keep it more like right here because um, the lid I have, I think that this side is where the filter would go. So, but that's what we got so far. So the next thing will be to um, put in, I guess, add the water and the heater and then after that we should be good to go and get this thing filtering and get it started. So I'm going to go ahead and get the heater in there and then go ahead and start filtering or getting the water in there so we can get the filter on. So, Oh, and then I forgot to show you guys. Here is his decoration that is going to go into his tank. So this is going to be the only thing that he's actually going to have in his tank. So um, like I said, here's like a little hole right here where you can actually go in and hide and swim. And right now he is small enough to actually fit in here, but once he gets bigger and full grown, he's definitely not going to be able to fit in here. But for right now, he'll be able to swim inside and come back out. And I like it. It's natural. And that's what I was trying to go with his tank. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the sink and get this nice and rinsed off while I um, start adding the water to the tank. So we're going to go ahead and do that and start adding the water to the tank and then we'll go from there. Alright, so the next thing I want to go ahead and do before I put the water in is go ahead and take this out the box and show you guys what this um, full hood aquarium light looks like and what it looks like on top of the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and take it out and then show you guys. Alright guys, so here is what the light and hood looks like. Um, this was detached, so what I did was just clip it on on each side. That was pretty easy. And then this is where the light is inside. And then here's the like the cutouts where you would put the filter. And then on this side is where like the heater would go. So I would just like pretty much break this off so the filter will go in there. And then that is pretty much what that looks like. So here's like where you can lift it up and feed your fish. And then here is what the hood, look, hood light looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on this um, tank and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so here is what the hood with the light on it looks like. I got the light over here on the table, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So here is like the part where you can lift up and feed your fish and everything. And then here's where your light will go. And then I cut out the area where the um, heater's gonna go. And then here is the cutout for the filter. So I went on ahead and did the big section. So I'm just in case if I ever had to get a bigger one, I would already be cut out so I don't have to redo it. Cause it was very a pain in the butt, to tell you. I actually had to use a, um, like a little hand knife and really cut each little slit part that they have that you have to cut out. And that was a pain in the butt, so that took a little while. But they're both out and it looks nice. And now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing filled up so I can get the filter on 
and get it start filtering. And then I'm gonna have to, after this video, I'm gonna have to go ahead and set up the small three gallon tank for a bubble so he can get into that tank. But this is pretty much what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with water. And once I do that and get the filter turned on, then I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like after that. All right guys, so I finally filled up the tank and this is what it looks like. As you guys can see here, the sand is on the bottom and then the water of the tank is just completely like a milky color. So um, I turned on the filter, so this is what the filter looks like. And then I got the heater turned on to get the water warm so it'll be ready for when I do put um, bubbles in here. But the filter is working pretty good and we'll just give it about a week to see if it'll clear up and where I can go ahead and put in um, this decoration that I got for his tank. So I'm just going to leave that out until the water is completely clear and then I'll go ahead and put it in here. But this is what it looks like. But I'm going to give it about a week to clear up and then I'll give you guys an update once the tank is completely clear and ready to put bubbles inside of his tank. But this is how you set up a go fish tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!